Hi everyone, my name is Matt and this is my weekly shop update for January 27th through February 2nd. There's a few things that went on in the shop this week. Uh, first, as I've been talking about for the past few weeks, I did finish up um, putting together that other Adirondack chair. I got it finished and assembled this week, so now I have two chairs in my living room. I still have to make all the square plugs for all the screw holes. Each chair has 32 mortises for screw plugs. Some are false, some are real. Um, so I have to make all of those plugs still. Um, I'm kind of putting that off until I get done with the workbench, which is what I'll talk about next. I got a lot done on the workbench this week. Um, as you saw last week, I had just cut the, the dovetails on the front laminate. To start out last week, I cut the pin sockets in the end cap. From there, I went ahead and I attached the front laminate to the bench, and I could finish up my tail vise installation. Uh, the next step with that was to create the the mortises for the rails. Because of the thickness of my bench top, the rails ended up being recessed about an eighth of an inch below the surface. There was also an area that I needed to remove from the bottom of the bench top so I could have clearance for the mobile dog block. From there, I cut and installed the dog block and went ahead and I started making all the dogs. I made a dog for each hole and I made a few extra ones just in case I ever need some more. Um, I figured while I had the, the router jig set up to make these, I might as well make a few more, so I made six extras. Uh, that's just how much stock I had initially cut. I figured I might as well use all the stock that I milled up for that purpose uh, anyway. So I got those all made, and at that point, it was pretty exciting because I really had a working workbench. I had a vise that was working, and I couldn't help myself. I got a piece of stock and a couple of hand planes and just went to town trying out the tail vise. Over the weeks that I've been working on the bench top, I have been laminating boards together to make up the base pieces. I ended up going with three and a half inches thick on all the base pieces. I had the stock and I figured it would give a little more heft to the bench. Um, so I milled those up and I started working on the base. I cut all the pieces to length using my miter saw and I used uh, one of the legs as a stop block on my assembly table so I could uh, cut them all to the same length respectively. Um, from there, I cut all the mortises in all the legs, and I cut all the tenons on the rails, both long and short rails. At this point, I just need to fit three more tenons into, into three more mortises. I have the two side assemblies complete. I'll grab one here. I have the two side assemblies complete. Here's one of them. See it's uh, right here, pretty heavy. And I have the other one up here on the bench. Here's one of the legs. Um, so the last thing to do is to finish uh, finessing the joints for the long rails and then the base will be assembled. I still have to drill all the holes for the draw boring and then do the leg vise installation. So that's all for this week. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments about anything I've talked about today, please feel free to leave those in the comments area. And until next time, happy woodworking.